this video we're going to talk about the different subjects you can have in a video. Subjects are very important. You can see the uh, example we have here with the, uh, the four operators collapsing the cage here. There's also a stop line that arrives a little later. We've actually timed all these subjects already here. The operator 1, 2, 3, 4 and the stop line. Right? And uh, the important thing of the subjects here, if you click onto the time preview and you, and you pass the data over, you'll see it comes in here. It's operator 1, 2, 3, 4, and the stockman. And uh, the, this breakup of the activities from the information coming from the video is all controlled via the subjects that you see right here. So what we're going to do is set up these subjects and show you how it's done. Okay, so what we've done here is we have the uh, video loaded and uh, by default when you start a new study uh, the subjects are always just going to be task 1, task 2, task 3. You can edit the subjects here and you can list them right here. Now I can ha change each of the subjects in turn here so I'm going to make it, it says task 1, I'm going to make it operator 1 and then I can click on the save and it gives me the opportunity to assign a color to that operator so I'm just going to make that one yellow, operator 2 Save that one, I'll make that one orange. Operator 3, highlight the defaults we give you, and set Operator 3. And we'll make that one, let's say we make this one green. Okay, now we need one more operator and a stock man. So they're not available to me, so I'm just going to add a new one here and call it Operator 4. Click on the save and assign a color to that one. So I'll make this one blue. Right, and then we add the stock man. So new again, stock man. Right, and this stock man we're going to make when we save that gives us the opportunity again. And let's say I make it this darker blue here. So you can see I've now set up my different subjects. And then when I click on the, I can reorganize these if I wanted to up and down arrows and so forth to move the sequence of the operators. It doesn't really matter the sequence of the operators, but when I say I'm done here, it puts it back in here and now my operators are available to me to select as I start going into the study in detail here.